1995 at the University of Cincinnati. Registered piano technician Michael Wathen replaced the slanted front bridge pin on a standard piano bridge with a vertical pin as shown in this picture. The result was an explosion of sound and the Wappen piano bridge was born. Upon first seeing the Wappen piano bridge, many people assumed that the improved power, clarity and sustain are the result of the obviously additional third pin installed between the front and back pins. However, this middle pin is called the trapping pin and its only task is to assure that the contact between the string and the bridge is not weakened. In the traditional slanted bridge pin configuration, the string is coupled to the bridge so tightly as to stifle it. The vertical pin of the Wappen bridge uncouples the string slightly. This unlocks the potential of the string and allows it to vibrate more freely, creating more energy on the string. The difference is dramatic. Increased string energy results in more control for the pianist. That control is felt and heard as more dynamic range and clarity. The pianist will notice that the music flows out of the piano much more easily. The listener will notice a much more lyrical and singing sound. The sound clips you are about to hear were analyzed by the computer software Spectra Plus and this graph is the result. The excerpt is from Debussy's Bruyères performed by Tracy Isaacson, a University of Sioux Falls student. The music produced by the piano before Wappen was installed is indicated by the red graph line and the yellow graph line indicates the music produced after Wappen was installed. The vertical green grid lines in the graph each represent 1000 Hz, with the left side of the screen being 3000 Hz and the right side around 9000. The horizontal grid lines represent relative amplitude in decibels. Notice that the overall noise level of the after recording is lower. There are frequencies that appear that weren't present previously. Notice also the increased dynamic range of the yellow over the red. Over 4000 Hz, the range from the peaks to the valleys is easily twice what it was before Wappen was installed. Above 5500 Hz, the yellow line is indicating very active harmonics, music. This range is extremely important to the human ear in the way it interprets sound, and the music produced by the Wappen piano bridge in this range is very apparent. Before we play the sound clips, I would like to point out that most televisions do not come equipped with internal speakers of good enough quality to give an accurate representation of high quality piano sound. Before you try to make a fair comparison of these passages, please have external speakers hooked up. Also, we intentionally chose piano students for the comparison so no one could make the argument that a highly skilled professional player had manipulated the results, either by controlling the piano at our request or by masking any shortcomings the piano may have. Now let's listen to the sound clips. First you will hear a short passage recorded before Wappen was installed, then the same passage after the Wappen installation. The next passage is then also heard twice, first before, then after the Wappen installation. <laughs> 